Hi there guys, we are Carl and Paul and we just be here in this video. Paul here is from Cloudwater and we're going to try a few of the Cloudwater beers here at the brewery today. Great, so uh, first up we've got uh, Motomeca Lager. Uh, it's a single hot uh, NZ Lager. Um, I guess on the nose. We wanted to make sure we got a good bit of yeast on the nose. Yep. Uh, it has to smell like a lager, even though it's uh, single hop with mozzarella on the bittering and aroma. Uh, we want a little bit of that too. You have to get a little bit of uh, that uh, lager characteristic, and that is yeast. Yeah, definitely. Definitely get a bit of that. Oh, that's awesome. awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah. yeah. Um, we, 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 we find that New Zealand hops are a little bit more subtle um, than their American cousins. Yeah, uh, sure, yeah. So... Like a mellowed down version. Very yeah, much yeah. so. So we have to dose this lager enough that you impart some of that Motueka flavour, but not so much that you lose the fact that it's a lager. Yeah, sure. um, And I think on the finish too, that uh, uh, quite rounded bitterness from Motueka, um, it's a bit less punchy sure. on the bitterness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it just kind of you know peaks up a little bit, uh, but very much leaves you with a larger finish. It certainly does, and it's certainly um, you know, an awesome session type beer. Not too strong, 5.5%. Is that a session? <laughs> That's I mean, a session, session, session for us. Yeah, 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 sure, yeah. Excellent. That was good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, Paul, the, um, the lager is probably the most intensive beer that you make in terms of the work that goes into making it yeah but probably the most least looked upon yeah in terms of the uh, the craft beers that you make so how, how do you do that well it, it's about expectation from the consumer uh, most consumers have been over many years uh, I guess convinced that lagers are very flavorless product uh, and it's ubiquitous uh, so the likes of Foster's turn their lager out in three days for us it takes upwards of 50 days uh, so it's that 50 day process that gives us no room for error. Uh, we can't have any off flavors developing in that beer because with a 50 day cycle, they're gonna show. Yeah. Uh, so it's that cleanliness, that brewing prowess that we're really proud of in the lager. Uh, it gives us a wonderful, clean flavor and we're, you know, we, we, we might not get that if uh, we didn't pay so much attention to detail. Sure, yeah. So next up we have, uh, we have our IPA. Again, this one features exclusively New Zealand hops, uh, Nelson Sovan uh, and Motueka in this one. Uh, you might get you might get a little bit of uh, what we call allium, uh, slightly sort of. Uh, it's the same compound that's found in onion and garlic. Uh, yeah, yeah. A little bit of that, like that, is common in uh, Nelson Sovan yeah. in. Uh, Mosaic in Citra, so you get a little bit of that. Sure, yeah, you do. But you can get a lot of grape on the palate, of course. Yeah, it's awesome. You get, you get like a tied sort, of sort of citrus fruit yep. come through at the start, and then you get the grapeiness, and then I've, a, nice, I've, a nice dry finish at the end. Yeah, and I finish on the. There's an uh, ingredient prevalent in. Uh, Northern Indian cuisine called black onion seed. Nice. I finished on a little bit of that. Excellent. And stuff. it's that same allium notes coming through right yeah, here. Yeah, sure, yeah. Which I, mean, I think prevails through for the bitterness. That, yeah, yeah. You know, for the untrained palate, probably like myself. Yep. It tastes that a little bit bitter at the end, yep. which gives you the sort of the dry bitterness feel that you want to taste some more after. So it's most definitely one drink leaves sort of that sort of thing, which is what <laughs> we want. Yeah. So the third and last beer we've got is the NZ Pop from Vice. Another focus on those fresh NZ hops. Uh, they're the freshest that we can get a hold of right now, so we are using them with everything. Sure. <laughs> As you can see. Well, for beer heroes, the, the hop and vice is the quickest seller for us. Oh, right, wow. I think the, nice. the mix between the, the hoppiness and yep. the sort of spiciness that you get yep. uh, in the hop and vice is a great all round uh, beer. Especially for people that, that sort of don't normally drink craft beer, yes. it's kind of like a wow when they try these for the first time. Um, Most definitely. So, yeah, definitely want to. So you, you get from this. On the nose, those banana and clove notes. Sweet banana flavors, uh, yeah. That's, that, that's some uh, um, uh, proteins that we extract in the mash tun yeah. that interface with the yeast that we use that deliver those flavor compounds. Technical stuff. So this, this beer is a combination of uh, very, very top uh, yeast notes, a lot of 
protein, malt body, and loads of hops too. So it's everything that we make uh, our beer with amplified up. Awesome stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Let's give it a try. Super, super sort of sweet. Yep. Nice banana sort of taste in it sure. as well, I think. Spicy. Edging on cinnamon, but without being cinnamon. And the, like a mixed spice clovey kind of taste. Most definitely, and the low bitterness on the end is yeah. what's going to turn that into a beer that's good for a bunch of people that yeah. don't usually like beer. Yeah. Um, what you find with a lot of consumers is bitterness is the thing that puts them off beer. Yeah. And with this beer, luckily, we get a lot of uh, hoppy characteristic, sure. but in a beer that typically is not bitter. So uh, it tends to work well for a lot of different people. Yeah, interesting. As I say, one of the favourites of Beer Heroes. Uh, if you want to buy any of the bottles here that we've scheduled today, we've had a look at today, go to beerheroes.com and you can buy any of the bottles there. Brilliant. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers, guys.